hello friends so in today's talk i'm going to be talking about the benefits of setting the initial eep size and the maximum eep size to the same value right see when i launch my application when i launch my java application i can pass these two arguments xms means initial eep size and then xmx it means maximum eep size so xms is say when i set as 2 gb that means when i'm going to launch my java application it's going to launch with 2 gb eep size and then as request comes in uh, as the demand for memory builds up so from this 2 gb my application can scale up to 24 gb so this is how xms and xmx is what you use it to set it in a traditional bare metal environment if you are in a containers you can use the initial ram percentage or maximum max ram percentage as arguments but fundamentally they are also used to set the initial eep size and the maximum eep size so let's see what are the advantages in setting the initial eep size and the maximum eep size to the same value right the first and the foremost advantage what you get by setting your initial eep size and the maximum eep size to the same value is the availability see what is what do i mean by availability let's say you are setting your initial eep size as 2 gb okay and when you launch your 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 container or your device as adequate memory so you you launched with 2 gb but let's say as request comes your jvm your application memory size grows from 2 gb it grows to 3 gb 4 gb or 5 gb but let's say around that same time there is some other process in your application let's say there is some cron job or there is some script whose memory or consumption also starts to grow so if there is some other process that consumption it starts to grow and your application memory also starts to grow then what will happen if there is not adequate memory in that machine your application will end up getting either one of these two errors it may get java lang out of memory error java eep space because other process has grown and it has taken up the memory so your application doesn't have enough space even though you have set your xmx as 24 gb if there is not enough capacity if there is not enough ram space on that machine then your application will get this java lang out of memory error java eep space you, you may get this or sometimes what can happen is the operating system itself can kill your java process what is operating system does is it kills the process which is demanding for more memory right so uh, if your application is demanding for more memory and if there is not sufficient memory in that machine or in the container then the kernel will kill your application with citing the reason as out of memory error kill this process right that's what you you'll end up getting but let's say on the other end you set your initial eep size and the maximum eep size so you want to set your xms to 24 gb and xmx to 24 gb that is the same size then what happens is when your application starts it gets that entire 24 gb allocated to it right so now let's say if some other process in that container or in your device it starts to grow if its size still starts to grow the operating system will not kill your process because it has already reserved the space for your process so the new process whose memory is growing that's what will get terminated the second thing is your application will not get this out of memory error because the space has been allocated to you right so by setting your initial eep size and the maximum eep size to same value your availability of your application goes higher is this making sense the point what i'm saying or do you have any questions on this yeah ram uh, it makes sense okay yeah. okay okay so now coming down what is this next benefit is the performance characteristics right what do i mean by that so i i did a small experiment to see whether there is any difference in the performance characteristics when you set your initial eep size and the maximum eep size to the same value and then if you set the initial eep size to a smaller value and a maximum eep size to a bigger value i conducted a study and then i want to share that with you okay see for this study i took one of our application uh, epiro so for the people who are not familiar with epiro epiro is application which processes the eep dumps eep dumps are tend to be very large size files it can be 
very intense files. So what I did, I, I was trying to analyze 11 GB file. A file size is 11 GB. So I was uploading to this EPRO. So EPRO analyzes this 11 GB file. That means 11 GB, it's a heavy memory intensive operation, right? It has to process that 11 GB file. So it's a, it's a memory intensive application. So I launched this memory intensive application. I kept on analyzing 11 GB binary file and I was studying the performance characteristics. So I, I did my test in two scenarios. So the first scenario, what I did was, I set my initial heap size to two GB, and then the maximum heap size to be 24 GB. And then in my second scenario, what I did was, I set my initial heap size and the maximum heap size to be 24 GB. I set it to be the same size. And then I was conducting this study. I was trying to constantly analyzing 11 GB heap temp file, which is a very memory intensive operation. Surprisingly, what I found was, in the scenario number one, when the initial heap size and the maximum heap size was set to two different values, right? The average response time, what I got was 385 seconds, 385.32 seconds. Whereas in scenario two, when I set the initial and maximum heap size to the same value, that is 24 GB, I saw the response time to be 366 seconds, which is kind of in the scenario number two, we are seeing a 5.11% improvement in the response time, right? So the reason why we are seeing this improvement, right? Why there is this improvement in the response time can be cited because of two reasons, right? The reason number one is memory allocation and deallocation from the operating system. Let's see what it is. See, this is how, when this is how the graph was looking, the, the memory allocated and deallocated from operating system was looking for scenario one, where initial heap size and the maximum heap size was set to two different values. You can see this is the allocated space of uh, memory for this application, right? You can see it is, the memory is growing all the way to this 24 GB. And this is where it is processing the, the request. Once the request has been processed, the memory is dropping. That is, this means your JVM is giving back that memory back to your operating system. And now, after it has given, now when the next request comes, once again, this JVM is negotiating and getting the memory from the operating system. So then one thing, the memory climbs up, it goes. And now it's processing the next request. Once the request is processed, now once again, it is giving back this memory to the operating system. That is, there is allocation and deallocation is constantly happening. So this has an impact on the performance, right? Because it has to uh, negotiate. It's gonna ask the operating system, give me memory. And then it's releasing back, give me memory, releasing back. So this will add a minor overhead, right? This is one reason. Whereas this is how the allocated memory space was looking for the scenario number two. In scenario number two, when we set it as same 24 GB, the initial heap size and the maximum heap size to same 24 GB, See, look at this. I see this very flat line it has been allocated. I don't see this kind of a choppiness, the sort, the pattern, like it's dipping on the request is processed and then we don't see this, it's just constant. So there is no constant allocation and deallocation. There's no negotiation happening in between the JVM and the operating system. So this is having an impact in the performance, right? This is one reason. The second reason is also because to allocate and deallocate, whenever you do that, you're going to have a GC pause time impact. The GCs are going to be run to allocate and deallocate. So GCs were also getting into, into picture, right? That is the reason why we are seeing an improvement when we set this to be the same value, right? But friends, one thing I want to highlight, see, this is a very memory intensive application, right? It's trying to process 11 GB file continuously. So that's why we are seeing this 5.11 percentage improvement. And this may vary based on your application, right? So if you're not that memory intensive application, then you may not see this much difference, but there will be a difference. But what is it if the, you want to find out by running your application and then doing this kind of a testing, right? Okay, a any questions on the second point? Okay, I assume, no. okay. So then I'm moving on. What is the impact 
to the application startup time is will there be any impact in the startup time if i'm going to set the initial heap size and the maximum size to different value will there going to be any impact see here i am citing the the oracle jdk oracle jvm documentation what they are what they are suggesting see here they are suggesting to set see here if initial heap size is too small the java application startup time becomes slow that's what they are suggesting we said initial heap size to be too small then the java application startup time will become slow so they are saying for optimal startup time set the initial heap size to be the same as the maximum heap size so your startup time will also get better by setting the initial heap size and the maximum heap size to the same value right? and the fourth advantage what you get is the cost <laughs> in terms of cost see it doesn't matter whether you are going to set your xmx to be smaller value and the xmx to be a bigger value there is no price difference what you are going to pay to your cloud provider because cloud provider is charging you see if you are going to take an red hat 32 uh, t2 at 2x machine a 32 gb linux machine from aws you are going to this you are going to pay this 57 cents per hour it doesn't matter whether you are going to set xms to be smaller value or xmx to be a <laughs> to be a same value or a different value the, the cloud provider is going to charge you the same amount of money right so there is no difference in the cost so why not take advantage why don't you set it as the same size and then enjoy the advantage of the higher availability and then the faster startup time and then the better performance right so friends for these reasons you may consider setting your initial heap size and the maximum heap size to be the same value right so then uh, thank you friends with this uh, we'll wrap up this uh, talk